Okay, in my project, I have three of these SMD stepper motors, these integrated stepper motors that I'm going to use in this project. And I've already added my three axes. If you look down here under Ethernet, you see I've got the X, Z, and Y axes. I've got them named. I'm going to add another one just so you see how it's done. Right click, new module. When it comes up, type in SMD. It's M. Notice when I hit the D, now it's eliminated all but SMD, 17, 23, 34. This is a 17E2. Now, you should do this before you start configuring your AMCI integrated stepper motors simply because you need to look at the destination before you leave for the destination. You can kind of lay the groundwork, and it makes it a little bit simpler when you're configuring each of these devices on Ethernet. Create, and because this is one that we're going to delete, I'll just call it the B axis. And I'm going to, and because I'm going to use 192.168.0, then I can't use this one. So I'm going to go to 192. 168-044. These, I believe, are 40, 41, and 42. So I've already assigned these three. We can go look at them. Uh, you could change the module definition. I usually go in and pick disable keen when I'm just experimenting like I'm doing with this project. Okay? That's to avoid if there's any minor difference in firmware or something else. Because I do believe that my firmware is not the same as this. But I don't remember for sure. Okay. And now you see I have another axis down here. I did that three times. Now I'm going to delete this one because I don't need this one. I'm going to mouse over this one. See, 40, 41, and 42. Now I kept it on 192.168.0 is the subnet simply just to keep it simple. It, if you were doing this for your project, you would start out by putting the exact IP addresses in there that you wanted. Okay, so we know it's 40, 41, and 42. And now I'm going to download it. Who active? And this is my controller. Download. Put the controller back in the run mode. Uh, the first thing I want you to note is the little yellow warning symbols. They're tr yellow triangles with an exclamation mark. And what that's basically saying is, and you see IO not responding. If you look up here at the green flashing light, IO not responding. That always means that it's found an exception between what you said you had and what it found once the program was downloaded and started running. So at this point, you would assume that all of the SMD 17E2s are at the default IP address of 192.168.0.50. So now we're going to go and configure one of them as far as its IP address and check its firmware and show you how to upgrade the firmware if you need to do that. 